this is Mahmoud Hassan Meras. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDWORKS. Today we will going to solve this problem. This is the isometric view. This is the top view. This is the front view and this is the right side view. We will start drawing from the top view. In the top view first we will draw a rectangle. The rectangle is 60 by uh, 190 minus 40. Then we will extrude the rectangle by 60 unit. Okay. Let's get started. First, select the top plane, select sketch, then select the center rectangle, and now draw the center rectangle and give dimension 60 and 190 minus 20 minus 20. Now, isometric it. Now, go to features and extrude boss. I will extrude both it to in the downside 25 and upset is uh, 60 minus 25. 60 minus 25. Now in the direction 2 is 25. So I will get a total dimension of 60. Okay. Now I will cut this B shape portion which is 30 degree angle and distance from 80 unit. Okay. Now I will select the top face and select sketch. Now normal to it. First I will draw this center line. Okay. Go to and select center line. And place this center line. After placing the center line select a point and place the point on the center line. Now go to span dimension and select this point and this line and dimension it to 80. Okay. Now select a line and, and set it. Okay. As the total dimension is 30 degrees, so the half will be 15 degree. So go to span dimension and select this line and this center line and dimension it 15 degree okay I will mirror the other side so select these entities and mirror about the center line press ok I want to draw this line so I will select this line and convert entities then I will go to trim option and trim the unnecessary part now press ok now no isometric view it go to features and extrude cut now extrude cut ok now here we can see there is a extrude cut of radius of 100 which is 120 apart from this point ok I will select this face and select sketch now normal to it and now place a point on it and now go to smart dimension and dimension this point to 120 unit press ok now uh, select a circle and place the circle and dimension it 100 into 2 which will be uh, 200 diameter which means 100 radius we have drawn this 100 radius circle now we will place this circle here we will use coinc coincident to this point so I will I will select this circle and then this point then I will select coincident press ok now I will again select this circle and select this point and then coincident now ok now we'll isometric view it. Now go to features and extrude cut, and I will extrude cut it. Okay. Then, then I will draw this 150 unit circle, which will extrude cut this portion. As we can see, this is apart from 90 unit from here. So we have a dimension of 20 by 20. So it will be this dimension will be 90 minus 20 minus 20. So I select this face and then sketch. Now I will normal to it. 
first of all I will select a point and place that point now I will go to smart dimension and select this point and select this vertical line and dimension it 90 minus 20 minus 20 now I will press ok now I will select a center line and draw a center line of radius of 150 now I will dimension it 150 then press ok now I select the circle and draw that circle as I need the upper shape so I will draw the upper shape as usual so I will draw a line here then here you can draw it as you want because we need to just cut the upper part now I'll trim the all the unnecessary part so I don't need this and don't need this now I'll go to isometric view and go to features and extrude cut we are now quite getting the shape now what we'll do here we can see that we have a another radius of 60 so I will in this right side I will draw a circle of radius 60 then I will cut this portion along this line so I will generally use the swift cut tool so I will first so first of all I will select this face and select sketch then I will select normal to it okay now now I will draw a center line as the circle is 60 radius so I will draw a center line of 60 radius so dimension it 60 now press it ok now select a circle and draw a circle of 60 radius which will be diameter of 120 now we can see as we have cut this face like this one so I will have to cut this situation like this one so I will draw the same type of thing again so I will draw a line here then draw another line here then close the shape as I have drawn this line now I will trim all the unnecessary part so I will trim this trim this and trim this press ok now I will I submit to view it and exit sketch as we, I have told you that I will use the swift cut tool so I will go to features and select the swift cut tool as the shape I will select these shapes and as the path to follow I will select this curvature path now I press I will press ok now we can see the we are getting this shade and here we have gotten this shade so now we will draw this part which is a radius of 30 and dimension is 20 so now I will select this face and now select sketch now normal to it and select a circle now draw a circle of 30 now normal now isometric view it and go to features and extrude boss extrude boss it to 20 okay now I will draw another circle that circle will be 50 radius and which is 20 unit so I will select this face and select sketch I will normal to it now I will select the circle and place it and now dimension it 50 now again isometric view it now go to features and extrude boss now I will extrude boss it to 20 press ok now we can see that I have a fillet of radius 5 so 
I will select the fillet option and put unit to say 5 unit and I will select this edge press ok here we can see that we have finished our drawing thank you so much watching till the end thank you thanks for watching and keep learning be different